hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is erica angel if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i missed you today i'm going to be doing my makeup meanwhile i talk to you about an episode from la rosa de guadalupe yes bitch an episode from la rosa de guadalupe you know how they be so extra with the episodes aunque la neta muchos episodios si me llegan al corazón sometimes i catch myself watching these episodes and i'm like <laughs> if you're gonna do your makeup too let's get ready together so whatever you're gonna do get ready to hear all about this episode because this episode girl it made my jaw drop so to start off my makeup i'm gonna go in with my glow recipe blur drops and the episode i'm going to be talking about is called un momento de vida this episode came out in 2011 on september 12th and this episode, it was already really popular. But recently, I've been seeing it a lot on my TikTok feed. And I'm just like, dude, there is a no way this episode is real. It's pretty disturbing and cringe as fuck. This episode does involve Justin Bieber. <laughs> As random as that sounds, I don't even know if they got permission to make this episode. I wonder if Justin Bieber even knows about this episode. Because if that was me, I would be concerned. Pero yo creo que sí, huh? I mean, because they have to have asked him if it was okay to air that episode. Porque en mi opinión, dice unas cosas muy fuertes. And talking about Justin Bieber, dude, the song Baby was my anthem. I think this episode aired around that time. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh my God, no, guys. Big cheese, man. Before I forget, you know Justin Bieber liked my video once? It sounds like if I'm lying, dude. It literally sounds crazy as fuck, I know. Because I couldn't even believe it myself. I was at the mall and I started getting all these notifications. Like, he liked your video and I was just like... But anyways, this episode basically covers how Justin Bieber had a crazy ass fan base. Since Justin Bieber was a little kid, he had crazy ass fans. So in this episode, there is a girl named Lolita and she has a best friend named Rosaura. To be honest, that name is pretty interesting. It reminded me of a dinosaur. It's a really nice name, but doesn't it sound like a dinosaur name? I feel like I'm about to say Rosaurix. Like it's the name of a dinosaur. <laughs> Like, no shade to it. It's a cute-ass name, and I love dinosaurs. Yeah, like, I don't know. I can picture myself being at a museum where there's dinosaurs and someone telling me, oh, that one is called Rosaurax. But yeah, these two girls son dos mejores amigas y vienen de una familia muy humilde. Viven en Monterrey. Also, they're probably around the age of 13 or 14. And these girls are obviously Justin Bieber fans. Los and it turns out that Justin Bieber is having a concert in Monterrey, Mexico. So these girls are going crazy. They're so excited. They're dying to go and they're dying to get tickets. So that's all they talk about in school. Oh yeah, and everyone in school makes fun of them, including these guys. By the way, they have a group of friends, so it's not only them two, but they're definitely the closest. Y estas morras, they're so excited to go to Justin's concert. That's literally all they talk about. Hasta la maestra les mete un pinche cagadón porque no se callan. And dude, when the girls get home in el cuarto de ellas, they have posters of Justin Bieber everywhere. They ask their mom si las van a dejar ir al concierto de Justin Bieber. And I feel bad for the moms because I did say que son familias humildes y medias pobres. So they're like, chin, ¿cómo le vamos a hacer para un pinche boleto? No tenemos dinero y hay muchos Ay, mamá, gastos tú no más. me puedes hacer esto, por favor. And dude, I know how that feels. I feel like going to a concert is... A luxury 
Yo de niña nunca fui a ningún concierto. My first concert ever era cuando yo ya trabajaba. Damn, I can only imagine, like, if your daughter wants to go to a big-ass concert that's super expensive and you're going through it financially, I would be like, puta madre, a ver cómo le vamos a hacer. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Dos mil pesos. Dos mil pesos, ya no, es muy caro. Mamá, ese es una platino para que Justin me vea a mí, mamá. They're like, I need to go, se va a enamorar de mí, like main character vibes. You know how like sometimes when you go to a concert, you're kind of the Lulu and you're like, no, he's gonna fall in love with me. Like I'm gonna stand out from everyone else. Pero en realidad, el artista ni siquiera te está viendo. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. That sucks because I know that sometimes we really do be feeling like that. Like me at the Rebelde concert. I swore that Mia was looking at me. Lolita hasta le dice a su mamá que ella no quiere fiesta de 15 años. That she much rather go to the concert. Y la mamá, at first, she's like, ay, ¿cómo crees? Que me cae, lo estoy ahorrando para tu fiesta de 15, hija. Pues me das el dinero de mi fiesta de 15, es más, ya no quiero la fiesta. Which, to be honest, I feel like a 15 isn't necessary unless it's your dream. And you've been dreaming about it all your life. <laughs> If you don't want a 15, why would you have it, you know? Like, you have no one to impress. Especially if you don't have a good relationship with your tías. I feel like those viejas, they just be going to 15s to hate. They're like, ay, a ver cómo estaba el vestido, cómo bailó, cómo estaba esto y otro. So, yeah, I feel like it depends. If my daughter would want to go to a concert rather than a 15, I would support her. You know, like, just do whatever the fuck makes you happy. So the girls, dude, están bien aferradas que van a ir al concierto. They're like, tengo que ir de a huevo. And you know how much the tickets are? 2,000 pesos. ¿Cuánto es eso en dólares? La neta, no sé. Pero me imagino que es mucho. They're probably more than that nowadays with inflation. Guys, I'm gonna go in with my palette from ColourPop. This one is called Rock Candy. I think I'm gonna do a silver eyeshadow look. The moms are stressing. They're asking for raises at their jobs. And they're like, ¿Cómo chingados voy a conseguir este dinero? Que hasta Lolita se anima a buscar un trabajo. And the mom doesn't really want her daughter to work because she wants her to be focused in school and stuff. Pero ya le vale madre, dude. She goes to find a job at a coffee shop. You know how there's like those places que sirven café and there's also computers where you can use the Wi-Fi. They're pretty popular in Mexico. Yeah, well, she ends up getting hired in one of those places. A scene comes out of la mamá de Lolita en donde trabaja because she cleans that office. Y le está haciendo plática a la licenciada and she's telling her que su hija really wants tickets para mirar a Justin Bieber. La licenciada is like, ay, mi hija también. Pero de hecho, ella ya los compró en pre-sale. And the mom is like, hold the fuck up. En pre-sale... Y la señora le dice, yeah, you can basically get them online. Mi hija me dijo que hasta el viernes empieza la venta. Ah, bueno, eso debe ser en taquilla, pero sí. yo los compré en preventa por internet. Y la señora, pues, se espanta. Lolita y Rosaura end up finding out that they're going to be selling the tickets on pre-sale. And they're like, ¿cómo le vamos a hacer? They don't have a computer or they don't know how to get the tickets online. Y están bien aguitadas. They're like, no, dude, we're going to have to... Do the most to make sure that we get a ticket. The days go by and they're saving their money. And dude, Lolita's grandma is so nice. Le llega un dinero de su pensión. Y se lo da Lolita. She's like, here, mija, for your ticket. I'm like, bruh, grandma goes. The next day, Lolita and Rosaura are in school. And there's already girls mentioning that they have their ticket. 
So they're starting to feel the pressure. Tipo que hasta Lolita le dice a su mamá, I'm camping outside la taquilla to make sure I get tickets. La mamá le dice, no estás pendeja, vamos a ir cuando se abra la taquilla. But these girls are going crazy, dude. I would have been like, no seas mamona, cálmate. That's when Rosaura and Lolita come up with a plan. Rosaura is like, Lolita, you're going to spend the night. And in reality, we're going to go camp to get the tickets. And my mom is going to take us. Su mamá estaba de vieja palera. Una buena estudiante, te ayudo con el que hacer. Hasta me metí a trabajar para comprar el boleto, ándale. Yeah. So they even went to Lolita's house. The mom lied. She's like, sí, se va a quedar a dormir. Which I get the mom too, you know. She's not a regular mom. She's a cool mom. Right, Regina? Please stop talking. No, pero pues la señora... Es buena onda. Les quiere hacer el paro. And she's like, sí, señora, que se quede a dormir su hija. And in reality, she's going to take them to go camp to get the tickets. So that day, during sunset, they head over to the ticket office. And they go camp. Sí, se quedan ahí. Toda la noche. Hasta que abran y empiecen a vender boletos. There are so many Justin Bieber fans there. They show up with posters like, Justin Bieber, te amo. Y todo el pedo. Justin, 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 Justin. And obviously, it starts to get dark and cold. It's dangerous as fuck, to be honest. Y la señora dice, ay, a ver si voy a encontrar un taquero. Para comprar tacos. I'm just like, señora, ¿cómo va a dejar a las dos niñas ahí en la línea and go get tacos? I mean, I get that they're hungry, but doesn't that sound dangerous as fuck? Dude, I don't know how that lady had the balls to do that. Because that's a huge responsibility. Taking care of two young girls. Camping outside a ticket office at night. Also in a place that looked pretty sketchy. I'm just like, señora, qué valor por andar de palera. ¿Y qué creen que pasa después? It's the next day in the morning. Ya casi no vamos a la taquilla, ¿sí? Y que van poniendo un póster en la taquilla. Que ya no hay boletos. No mames, ya no hay boletos. No hombre, pues la señora se emputa y va a hacer la de pedo. She's like, ¿cómo que ya no hay boletos? I waited in line, we camped at night. ¿Cómo que ya no hay boletos? Nosotros llegamos aquí desde ayer, nos dormimos en la banqueta. And all this shit, the people selling the tickets, they're just like, well, I'm just here doing my job. And there's no more tickets, lady. What do you want me to do? Pero la señora se vuelve loca. Tipo que hasta se madrea a un security o a un trabajador. <laughs> Unos buenos madrazos le metió la doña. She was like, pas, pas, pas. And I'm just like, ay, pero qué culpa tiene el trabajador. Se lo chingaron, dude. That's so fucked up. And the girls, you can only imagine. They're crying. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe there's no more tickets. Yo sí, yo quiero ver a yo sí, yo lo amo. And I know this episode is already extra as fuck, but it gets even worse, dude. Trust me, this is nothing. El día siguiente están en el café at the cyber coffee spot and they're looking for tickets online. I guess to see if there's any resellers. Y Rosaura, según ella, she has a brilliant idea. And she's like, oh, tengo una idea. Lolita is like, what? Spill it, sis. And you won't believe what this girl says. She says, Puedo vender mi virginidad por un boleto de Justin Bieber. Girl, what? Ya sé lo que voy a hacer. Mi virginidad por un boleto para Justin. No, dude, because... She has to be kidding. This has to be a joke. Y pues no. She's dead serious. 
Lolita even looks at her like, esta pendeja esta. And she gaslights Lolita. She's like, well, you said you would do anything, right? Are you a true believer? And she ends up giving in. She's like, sí, tienes razón. Voy a vender mi virginidad. Tienes razón, sí. Ahorita mismo pongo mi perfil que cambia mi virginidad por un molex. Mi virginidad. I'm like, girl, it's not that deep. That is so not worth it. Wow, is this a true story? Because who even does this? Guys, are these episodes real of La Rosa de Guadalupe? If you know, comment down below and let me know, please. Because this is really concerning if it's real. Por un boleto para Justin. These girls are losing their mind. People even end up finding out that they're selling their B card for Justin Bieber tickets. And they make fun of them at school. They also start protesting for Justin Bieber. Para que haga otra fecha de concierto. I did notice that one of the guys acting, it's Marcelino from Rebelde, remember? Roberta's little homie. Oh my God, he's so big now. And you know how Lolita is working at the coffee shop? Well, a weirdo freaking goes in looking for her. He's like, mire, que estás vendiendo tú? Tú y yo solitos para que se me haga. Es un pesado. ¿Yo qué? Tú fuiste la que escribió lo de los boletos en tu perfil. And I'm just like, oh hell no. Pinche viejo maníaco sexual, that's so creepy. In another scene, Lolita's mom is at work. Y le dice la licenciada en donde trabaja. Le dice, oh, did you hear that these girls, they're going crazy for Justin Bieber tickets. They're even protesting for more dates. And she shows Lolita's mom the newspaper. And who does she see in the newspaper? Lolita. Así que la señora se emputa. She's like, aquí estaba. Dude, Lolita was caught in 4K. <laughs> Guys, by the way, I'm adding this chunky eyeshadow glitter. It's so cute. I need to wear this more. I'm adding it to my inner corner and a little bit under my eye. So Lolita's mom is so concerned. She even goes to the coffee shop to talk to the owner or the manager. I don't know, la encargada of the coffee shop. And she's like, no, que su hija la está preocupando mucho. She's venting about her daughter. And the lady from the coffee shop is like, well, I found out that her and her friend were selling their virginidad por boletos de Justin Bieber. A cambio de unos boletos, ellas dan su... ¿Su qué? Su virginidad. Dude, they snitch on her. But I'm glad they did because that's such a dangerous situation. Like that tiro. I know that snitches are annoying, but in this situation, it's like, no te pases de verga. Esas ya son chingaderas. That's super fucking dangerous. I really hope no one has this mentality and they just made up this story. But apparently the girl found out because she heard when the creepy guy was looking for her. Así que llega a la casa y obvio, le mete un pinche cagadón a Lolita. La mamá le dice, ya me contaron que estás haciendo esto y esto, estás loca. Le metí una chinga en el cuarto lleno de Justin Bieber posters. I don't know why, I feel like that's kind of humiliating. Es que vas a entregar tu virginidad a cambio de un boleto para el concierto. No, oh, mamá, no, yo te... I would feel como si me están puteando en frente de Justin Bieber. Like, que tu mamá te mete unos madrazos and then you just see Justin Bieber in your wall staring at you, like... Dude, I feel like that would be humiliating for real. Lolita was probably like, yes, Justin, it's me. I'm your one less lonely girl. And then the mom, obviously, she goes to tell off Rosaura's mom. Because she's like, what the fuck? I trusted you with my daughter. And at first, the lady was defending the girls. She's like, yo, you need to chill. Like, you're being too strict. Hasta que le dice la mamá de Lolita. You know that these girls 
are selling their virginidad online in exchange for tickets. Y la mamá se queda como puta madre, ¿qué? Eso sí no lo sabía la doña. Rosaura was there and she makes it seem like if it was a joke. Like, no, girl, you were being dead serious about it. Y la mamá de Rosaura todavía, she's like, ya ves, son cosas de muchachas. Y aquí es donde ya mero viene la parte icónica. La mamá de Lolita y su abuelita están rezando a la Virgen de Guadalupe. And they're like, por favor, que mi hija recapacite. Y que sepa que está mal vender su virginidad por tickets de Justin Bieber. ¿Y esta rosa? ¡Qué bonita! Seguro que Justin algún día me va a regalar una así de... This sounds like a joke. I can't believe this is real. The next day at school, one of the guys that would make fun of them, he's like, I have a ticket. If you guys want it, you guys know what to do. Concierto de Justin Bieber. Sí, sí es un boleto para la suma platino. Es idéntico al que tiene Fátima. Pero solo tengo uno. Si quieres, es tuyo. A Lolita, como su mamá ya le había metido el cagadón, pues la regañada, She's like, no, I'm not falling for it, that's stupid, whatever. But Rosaura, on the other hand, she's like, wow, you're a fake believer. You said you were gonna do anything to go see Justin Bieber. Sigo sin poder creer que hayas rechazado el boleto. Ya lo tenías y lo dejaste ir. Traicionaste a los believers. Ay, lo siento, Rosaura. Le dice eso, le dice que... Traicionó a las Believers y le dice al pinche chamaco, dame el ticket, yo lo quiero y yo me acuesto contigo. Y se va la chamaca. I'm adding white eyeliner to my waterline. And she's like, I'm gonna do it. Se va a ir a acostar con el morro castroso that would make fun of them. I'm like, girl. BFFR. Like, reacciona. Aquí tienes el boleto para la diversión. ¡Sí, sí, mi boleto para ver a Justin Bieber! And dude, el día siguiente, llega a la escuela, flexing dude. She's like, I have my Justin Bieber ticket, nadie me hable. She shows off the ticket all proud. And one of her classmates is like, are you sure that's a real ticket? Porque ese ticket se mira que es pirata, ¿sí? Parece un ticket falso. Me da pena pincharte tu globo, pero se me hace que tu boleto es chafa. ¿Sí? Mira, el tuyo es así como, como una... Her and her classmates get so worried, so they go to the ticket office. Van a preguntar if they can scan the ticket so they can see if it's real. And the ticket was fake. Lo siento, el lector no reconoce el boleto. Ese boleto es falso. ¿Qué? No, no puedes. The ticket was fake. Which, like, girl, I saw it coming, but pobrecita la morra. So Rosaura just gave her virginity away for a fake Justin Bieber ticket. Por un pinche ticket pirata. Qué puto coraje. Well, she's fucking crying. She's devastated. She's like, wow, I'm not gonna see Justin Bieber. And I just had my first time with this ugly ass dude for a ticket. Imagine how shitty she felt, dude. Pobrecita. Que este boleto es falso. Dime que no es cierto. Creo que es falso. Yo mismo lo hice en mi computadora y lo imprimí. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué lo hice? Does this actually happen in schools? Guys, I can't help but think, like, is this story real? Because if it is, that's sad. That's super sad. But like it sounds like a joke. Es que ustedes saben, a veces se pasan en la Rosa de Guadalupe. A veces salen hartas chingaderas that everyone is just like, ay no mames. Then Rosaura's mom ends up finding out that, that she lost her virginity for a, a fake ticket. Este que era un juego, Rosaura. The señora obviously gets upset y creo que le metió una putiza. I don't know if I'm wrong, 
But she's like, ahora te voy a llevar al doctor para ver si estás embarazada. Dude, imagine she is pregnant. And then the kid is born. And he's like, I was born because of some fake Justin Bieber tickets. That would be horrible. And dude, Rosaura tries to gaslight her mom. She's like, ay, pues tú me dijiste una vez que si tengo sueños that I should do whatever I have to do to go after them. Mi más grande sueño es ver a Justin, mamá. Tú misma me dijiste que tenemos que hacer todo por nuestro sueño. And the mom is like, yeah, pero hay un límite. Pobrecita la mamá por confiar en su hija y querer ser una cool mom quedó, quedó. This, another scene comes out donde la mamá de Lolita está en su trabajo en la oficina de la licenciada y la licenciada le dice que su hija se ha estado portando muy mal y no la va a dejar ir al concierto de Justin Bieber aunque ella tiene sus boletos and she's like since my daughter is not going do you want these tickets for Lolita for her daughter. Todo sin su concierto, así es que me sobran esos dos boletos. ¿Los quieres para tu hija? Y la señora se queda como a huevo. A huevo. Oh, and by the way, Rosaura no estaba embarazada. Thank God. So the licenciada shoots the tickets and the girls now have tickets to see Justin Bieber. Yeah. Y ahí es cuando Lolita siente el airecito. And she's like, sí, mamá, tienes razón. I'm just like, what you mean? Obvio que tu mamá tenía razón. Chamaca pendeja. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's so fucked up. I'm fucked up, oh my God. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, I guess the moral of the story was beautiful. It's true. When something is meant for you, it's going to come to you. And then it comes to show that last minute plans are always the best. Dude, I love last minute plans. I think the best moments of my life have been last minute plans. Like they for sure just hit different. Oh my God, I should do my hair like this. <gasps> Dude, like Nikki Nicole. Moviendo el booty booty como Riri. She's showing her titties. My curtain bangs kind of get in the way, but it still looks cute, huh? Does it? And yeah, guys, this is how my makeup came out. What do we think? Wow! I'm still wondering if Justin Bieber is aware about this Rosa de Guadalupe episode. There was an event at Citadel and a girl passed out because Justin Bieber was performing and there was ambulancias everywhere. Y era el chisme del año. So for sure, he does have some crazy hardcore fans. Which to be honest, I get because that'd be me for other artists. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm never gonna get over the fact that he liked my video. Dude, yo pudiera ser Hailey. Imagínate, me hubieran funado ya. But yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.